Stitching May here to do my update video. I think it's been like a month and a half since my last video. Long enough that I feel a little nervous in front of the camera. But anyway, I'm here now. <laughs> last video, I said that I was going to do the vlog type video. And I tried and I did not do very well at, at all. I felt like my, I felt like I was boring you guys. <laughs> because like one day I'll do like five stitches of progress. The next day I'll have like 150 to 200 and then I'll go back to like five stitches. It's, it's crazy. I felt like I was showing you the exact same thing every day. So I've got some of the footage and I'll add it to the end of the video. If you guys want to see it, you're more than welcome to. If not, I understand. It's just a little blurbs here and there. Um, it's been a busy month. Um, we've so much has gone on I don't even know where to start and I don't want to bore you with that um I will say that today I decided it was a good day it's beautiful outside we've got awesome day lighting and then we have a new light fixture in my recording spot wasn't put in for the recording however I realized that I can put different bulbs in and it makes this room a lot brighter for when I record so maybe colors will show up better um, I found out today that my son got accepted at the preschool yes they have to you have to apply to pre-k now apply to pre-k um but he was accepted to, the, to our first school choice first choice school however you say that so we we're excited about that and then also over the weekend i was at work and i looked up in the mirror and realized that my earring was missing and i had no clue i had been there for at least eight hours i had been in and out of several of my or all of my rooms and several of other people's rooms i was digging through trash looking in the floor and then today, while we were getting Connor ready for school, my husband kind of was sweeping up some. He's awesome. He sweeps. Isn't that awesome? And he found my earring. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do a video because things are going great. <laughs> and this, maybe it'll be a good video. I don't know. I'm just coming in a blah video mood. But here I am. Um, I do have a finish. I have been stitching. Even though I haven't been making videos. And I've been trying to watch all you guys' videos. So I do have a finish. It is on, um, oh wait, hang on. Also, see, I'm scattered today. I got to stitch, do a stitch date with Organic Granny at a store kind of in the middle for us. And we've had at least one stitch date. And I think we'll be able to have more. I know, and I forgot to take my camera again. And I know next month we're going to have a kind of overnight stitch thing. Um, really, it's just her myself and her friend our friend gay i always call her her friend gay but i guess she's my friend too um but she'll be there so i'll try i know i'll bring my camera i'll try to talk organic granny into getting on the camera with me i think she's embarrassed to be seen with me and she we always don't get on the camera so we'll see um and then i've reconnected with a stitcher that lives very close to me and we get together and have lunch and stitch for a while in a local restaurant and we have a lot of fun there we've done that at least once and we're probably going to do it again tomorrow so but so a lot of stitching i think i've stitched on all of my projects except for my daisies in vase and then my mill hill dragonfly the daisies in vase now that it's getting brighter and we have more daylight thanks to the wonderful time change throws my toddler off toddler off <laughs> but now that we have more daylight i may be able to stitch on that black fabric better and then i've got an idea for a black backlighting now but um so everything except for those two projects i think yes and then i have a finish and i'll start with my finish it is the family tree this project came out of a cross stitcher magazine. I don't know which issue, but if you want to know which issue, let me know and I will look it up and tell you. It is stitched as charted except for this brown tree. Mine is stitched two over one on 36 count even weave. I don't know if it's Joblin or what, but it's even weave. I want to say it's Joblin because it's got the kind of thick and poofy threads that I don't typically like. <laughs> They stretch and they distort really easy. But that's that. I had a lot of fun stitching this one. What I finally did towards the end, I stitched all the leaves and then went back with the white towards the end and just filled in the white. I was going to make this a wall hanging, but I don't think it's large enough now that I've seen it. And I think I'm going to get it framed. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to fully finish this yet. I'm trying to hold this up there longer. I know that somebody said that when we move them, we move them too soon. But then I don't want to bore you just holding it up there. 
just a happy medium that's fun, hard to find. But there that is. And yes, my projects are folded, don't shoot me. And then the next project I worked on was 99 bottles. I think it's just 99, but I call it 99 bottles and that's just it. <laughs> it is my ink circles. It is stitched as charter with DMC floss on 32 count even weave. I think it's again a, I think this one's actually the Lugana, I don't know. I know before I mentioned that my fabric had a ripple in it and I was kind of worried about it. However, <clears throat> I pulled it off the frame and kind of got on there a little bit straighter and the ripple seems to have gone away. Um, I don't know if any of you guys remember that. You may not remember it, but the ripple's kind of gone. The fabric's a lot more even looking. I'm trying to not to make you sick. I'm just going to hold this like this. But this month, um, I think I finished... I want to say I finished up like one shelf and then stitched the 11 bottles on another. I actually had some negative progress because when I pulled it out, I realized that um, one of my bottles was wrong and I had to unstitch at least half of that bottle. And then I realized that one of my shelves, one of these pink or pink, that's clearly not pink, um, one of these burgundy shelves was one stitch lower than it's supposed to be and that was going to be over 400 stitches of frogging and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it at all. So it's going to stay where it is and I'm not going to show you what shelf it is. <laughs> but there's my 99 for the month. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. And then on my work to go project, I, which is the Pine Mountain Designs, um, you make me happy when skies are gray. The fabric came with the pattern. It's a 32 count, just white linen. I'm stitching it two over two with the Charta DMCs. Just have the words done. There's a bright yellow umbrella that goes here and then some turquoise raindrops. I love taking this to work because it's only on three colors and it, I don't know, it's just easy and discreet. But there that is, not a ton of progress. I had to get a new bag because this wasn't a best friend, it had a milk and a cookie and it said best friend forever, but the zipper busted so I had to get a new bag. And that was it, not stash because I needed it. So, still sticking to my stash restraint and it's been so hard. Um, a local store is going out of business and they have the scissors that I absolutely positively love that are already cheap and now they're on sale. And I've talked to my sponsor, Organic Granny, and the other admins who are all also doing the stash restraint many times and, <laughs> and talked out of breaking it over these scissors. At one point, my husband even handed me some cash. He said, here, you know, it's a gift. And I'm like, no, that doesn't count. It doesn't count as a gift. And I ended up spending money on our dinner. So, trying to be good. And it's been really hard. But I did get this project bound. And that, but that's not, like I said, not stash because I needed it. Because I needed a small container to keep my stuff in. And then I worked on Tree of Hope by Mirabilia. Hey, I think I said that right. Finally. Mirabilia. But that's what it will look like and I did forget to do the before and after or the before pictures of all these projects as soon as I'm done videoing this video I'm going to stop take pictures of all these projects that way you can see where they are now that way next month you'll actually have a before and after photo and then this is where I'm at not a I thought I had done a lot more till I got it out and looked at it and then I'm kind of disappointed but here it is I did all of this, let's fold this this way to where you can actually see it. All of the bird, the bird's tail, and then the green in the tree, and then the silk in the tree. And this is stitched as charted on Silk Weaver Belfast 32 Count Linen. And it's a solo die, so I have no color name. But I'm very 
happy about the way this is coming out on this project. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hold this up and still, so you guys can see it. I'm not making you seasick. I absolutely love working on this project. I had a hard time putting it down. Okay. And then next, yeah, this one's kind of become a knock around the house. So when I go to my in-laws, I take it with me because it's the fabric's easy to see and it only has four colors in it. And it's the Plum Street Samplers. I'm going to hold this up. Um, 12 Days of Christmas. This is stitched with um, 115 is the red, 4045 is the green, 167. No, 160. Yes, 167 is the gold, and then the black is just DMC 310. I replaced my Ziploc baggies with these poly zip back folders because I don't know if you can tell but my chart was bigger than my bag and it was driving me crazy the zippers kept busting open I was losing thread and that kind of thing so I went to Staples and I got some of these poly zip um, envelopes that Mackenzie talked about except she gets letter size and I got legal size to make sure I had room for everything I showed you a little bit of that chart surely you couldn't get it that fast it's a free design anyway yet the Plum Street Samplers block. So. But I got those to hold my mini whips because the now that I have like 12 or 13 whips, the big boxes were taking up too much room and I had them in baggies and then I only got two. But there's where I'm at. I'm on the fifth day. You can see the gold down here for the fifth day for the five golden rings. But I'm loving this. I also give this a week in my rotation. But now that I'm kind of, like the night we were sitting in the living room watching some TV and then I didn't have my full stitchy set up so I stitched on this. And then my son goes outside and plays on the swing set. <clears throat> I'll go outside and watch him and I'll take this outside and stitch on it. So, there that is. I really love this design. I'm stitching it as one piece. and. Again, I don't know if I'll do a wall framing for, or a wall hanging, or a frame job for the finished object. I haven't decided yet. Okay, and then next would be my Thomas Kincaid Fantasia Vigenette, which is this little one. Piece of floss is stuck to my hand. But that's what he will look like. Just a little part out of the big Fantasia one because I love Mickey Mouse. And I'm stitching this one color at a time and I just kept on the Ada that came with it. But um, the color I worked on this month was the rest of this peach. I have a little bit more of the peach to go. I think I got two or three hundred stitches total done. It's gridded. I don't see how people are, st I think Cross Stitch Joel is stitching on a Thomas Kincaid without gridding and I don't see how she does it. There, that is. And then I worked on my needle worker, you know, the one I had to restart. And somebody else said in their videos, I don't know who it was, but she said that letters seemed to be the hardest for her. And she thought it was just her. It's not. For whatever reason, letters for me give me a hard time too. And then this is stitched as charted with the um, classic, is it classic color works? Yes, classic color works um, threads on 32 count twilight blue, not twee blue fabric. And this is, I purchased this fabric off eBay. It looks like the same MGC textiles linen that Hobby Lobby carries. People have complained about this fabric, and I've not had any issue out of the fabric so far. Um, I love that it's got a thicker weave to it than the um, 32 count with Wil Wiljolt. They're the same count, but these, I don't know, you can't see through this one like you can the other, and it feels like real fabric. Everybody has their preference. Um, 
it's just whatever. I will say that this project, because I restarted it, I had to get another skein of the roasted chestnut. And I did a little blurb about that in my vlog part that I'll show you. Um, they're a little bit different. Um, the colors are the same, just one skein seems to have more, more red while the other skein seems to have more brown. So I've been mi mixing it in as I go. And then you skein, switching back and forth, hoping that you won't be able to tell a difference. And so far, I feel like you can't really tell a huge difference as to where one skein starts and the other one, you know, finishes. So, but there that is. I really, really, really am enjoying this now that I'm getting past the letters. Um, these letters have haunted me. I don't know why. But I'm glad to know that I'm not the only person that has issues with words when I stitch letters. I think it's because the pattern's so similar and I kind of lose count of where I'm at. But I'm doing better this time. But that, there that is. And again, that's Needleworkers by, I think, Little, Little, Little House of the Works. And that kit did come with the floss included. I just had to replace the one floss. And then I've worked on my Dimensions Advent Calendar Countdown to Christmas or Christmas Countdown. I'll show you where I'm at on this one. I've decided that I'm not going to um, start the ornaments because it comes on this, they go on this plastic canvas. And like you had to stitch it exactly where it goes. And I've decided I'm going to wait to start the ornaments until I'm dying for a new start. Because it won't count as a new start. But I may, because it's a blank canvas, get the new start. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. Yeah, I'm making up words. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. I don't know. But this is where I'm at on this one. And I am kind of doing the back stitch as I go. As you can see around this table, and it's crazy how much more that pops with the back stitch. I am a, I love the effect of back stitch. The process is not my favorite thing to do. Every time I sit down to stitch on this, I do some of the border. That way I don't get completely overwhelmed because it's a lot of border. I did my first tweeting. I want to say it was in these gold blocks. I think I already did some of that though the last time I did a video. But there that is. This is stitched on, as charted with an ink I mean, it was a kit, so everything came with it. I think this is 18 count oatmeal, Ada. But there that is. And I'm still loving this one. It's amazing that every time I look at the chart, I see something new that I didn't notice before. And then last and definitely not least, however, I kind of had to take a break from this project, is my Dinky Dyes um, Frosted, not Frosted, Mixed Berry Cheesecake, which will look like this. Um, my specialty limited edition silk got in a huge knot and I spent over an hour trying to untangle it. And I got it pretty, what happened is like, and then you have to cut off these long pieces in order to get the effect of the different colors. Anyway, um, and my long piece tried to start with it stripping, I guess, because you want to strip the floss. It tried to start to do it from the middle. It ended up with this horrible mess. I was able to salvage most of it. Luckily, I had enough to get of the long pieces to get all the way around this. The rest of the pieces are smaller in their colorways, I guess you could call it. And I was able to get those colors out. So I think I should be able to do the desired effect even though my silk completely, that one silk completely, completely knotted. Had it not been a limited edition, I may have actually thrown it away and just ordered new. But because it's a limited edition and they don't make the color anymore, I did not have that privilege. Otherwise, I would have. 
I really would have. It was that bad. I was that angry. But here's where I am. <clears throat> Again, this arrow is not there, but because it's a, you know, it all matches. I left my up arrow to where I can tell where I am. But essentially from this purple all the way over to this pink is all one strand of the special edition silk. And, so, and it does it every single time. Just one strand from the purple over to the pink. Because you don't want you to have to start over in the middle and lose the variation. So there that is. This is charted. This came as a kit with all the floss and the fabric and the chart. Um, fruit cocktail doesn't come with a fabric. This is 18 count. Okay, so it's 28 count. I don't think it was. I do this every single time. I don't know what kind of fabric this is. I know the color is bashful from Picture This Plus. And my kit says that it is Ada or linen, but this is definitely Ada. I don't know. I did this every single time. I just said that I was being able to tell stitch. I'm not good at uh, oh, 14 count bashful Ada. I'm not great at Ada. Ada all looks the same to me. I can't tell unless like it's 11 count. Now linens and stuff, I can kind of tell the difference in the counts, but not in Ada's. They all look the same to me. But anyway, there that is. And that's everything for now. I have no haul, no stash. Um, I actually even went to a craft store today and only picked up things like gifty items. Make sure I didn't show you more pattern. Um, only picked up gifty items for somebody. So I'm very, very proud. The only items I've gotten since January have been gifts for others. So I'm excited. I'm doing well. Even though I'm struggling. Doing well. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And like I said, I will tag on some of the, um, Kind of vlog video footage if you want to watch it if you don't it won't hurt my feelings but thanks for watching hey guys i just finished uploading my video and i said i was going to try these vlog snippets so here we go today is january the 21st and i'm stitching on 99 bottles uh, my goal is to finish up these last this last shelf and maybe some more. I will stitch on this today and tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow is my long stitching day because I stay up all night. I'm sitting here with Connor, little man, and my puppy dog. We are watching Inside Out. <laughs> um, sporting my PJs and my fuzzy socks because it is supposed to be stormy tonight, possible severe weather, and then on Saturday, possible snow. You want snow, don't you, bud? <laughs> so today is January to the 22nd and I mentioned in, our, in my last little blurb that we were supposed to get some ice and snow. So I thought I would introduce you guys to a Georgia snowman. <laughs> this is him. This is about all we'll get this time. It's already starting to sleet and rain again instead and it'll be all a nice layer of ice instead of snow. But I thought I would share our friend with you. Happy Georgia snow. Okay, so today is January the 22nd. And as you saw, we had a very meager snow. But we've still been kind of busy today. Just, I don't know, goofing off. <laughs> but this is the progress that I got last night. A little bit more on this one bottle. Um, I'm hoping tonight to finish up this bottle. And maybe get two more bottles done. And then that'll be my goal spot. Um, it is kind of cool. So we are bundled up in the house. Um, I got a little puppy here cuddling with me check look <laughs> he won't even look up he's cuddling so much he had some leftover vegetable soup and he's out but this is where i'm at stitch wise not a lot to show you hopefully we'll have more to show you next time
Hey guys, it's January the 26th and I am here still working on 99 bottles or 99. Um, I'm, this will be the last bottle on the shelf, which was originally my goal before I changed to another project. But for whatever reason, my stitchy bug is really loving this. So I may go on and work on this shelf as well. I don't know. Um, hope I'm not driving you guys crazy by only showing you with this one project. But right now my stitchy bug is loving this project. So I will go with it as long as it'll let me. Um, I just got off my weekend work shift and I did not get to stitch anything at all there. It was a rough week, but that's okay. Um, this week my routine is going to kind of be back to normal, so I should get a lot of, a lot more stitching done. Right now I'm sitting here with my husband and we're about to binge watch Making a Murder on Netflix. We are about halfway through the season, so we have no clue what happens and we've kind of put our blinders on to where we don't, you know, search anything and we find out together. But that's it for now. I'll come back at you later with some more progress. Okay, so today is January the 28th. And I am finally done with this bottle. <laughs> um, I had it all done, was ready to put this away, and realized I had stitched the this dark gold in the completely wrong color. I had stitched it in this lighter gold color. And it looked all weird because, anyway, it was three different colors anyway. But I'm finally done. I finished this row. And I'm going to put it away for a while because it's starting to drive me crazy. I need a break from it. And my rotation this year is to stitch whatever calls to me. So this will go away. That way I don't get burnt out on it. And maybe can pick it up again next month. And the project I am switching to is my mixed berry cheesecake by Glendon Place with Dinky Dice Silks. I'm going to stitch on this today then tomorrow I'm actually going to have a stitch date with um, Organic Granny so we may try to do some filming there. I may take you guys along with me and then I am watching some floss tube and to be honest I'm watching a guilty pleasure called The Vampire Diaries on Netflix. Um, just one of those shows that I know is complete fluff, but I really enjoy it. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing today. Okay, so today is still January the 28th. But I thought I would show you some issues that I've been having with floss today. Um, I mentioned in my update video that I had to purchase a second skein, or a third skein actually, of the Crescent Colors um, Roasted Chestnut because I did not think that I would have enough room or enough floss to um, finish my needleworker pattern. And I said that I was ordering it ahead of time because I was afraid of dye lot issues. They are completely different. These are both, ro well, this is two skeins of Roasted Chestnut and then this is the new skein of Roasted Chestnut. I have soaked these both in dye fixative in order to... Um, Kind of keep them from running is bad. But as you see, this one is a lot more red than this one is. This one's a lot more brown. It has the red color in it. You can see the kind of red highlight. And this one has the brown color in it. It's just like this one just has more red undertones and this one has more brown undertones. What I'm hoping will work is that as I stitch in the worker, I'll stitch some from this skein and then stitch from this skein and kind of back and forth. And that because I have the same colors in them, that they will mixed together okay um you guys some what you think because i do have the same tones in them just this one definitely has more of the red brown than this one does i don't i don't know if that'll work or not i'm hoping that will work but so definitely if you ever go to get crescent colors get your extras ahead of time uh, whatever i mean they definitely have dye lots i don't know that it's a different different colors but different amounts with the same colors but just keep an eye out for that my other floss disaster was I told you guys that I was working on my mixed berry cheesecake today by Dinky Dyes. And I did. I finished this section right here out and I'll continue to stitch on this tonight and um, try to get on around and finish the this inner part of this mandala. Um, I've got this one done. I've got this one done. I'm hoping to get this one and this one done. However, my disaster came. As I told you, you had to use these really long. See how long this piece of floss is? really long pieces of floss to stitch because this is all one length of floss to get the same colors in the same directions well 
and you have to cut certain spots and start with certain colors in different areas and it's pretty in depth as far as how to use a variegated floss. Well, this is my limited edition, limited edition, no longer in print, limited edition, Thinky Dyes Silk. Look at this rat's nest. This is still tangled. This is not completely tangled. It can kind of come undone. This is after two hours of work trying to undo this. I cannot explain the knot that this got into because it's silk and I wasn't as careful with it as I should have been. I mean, look at this. That part is still knotted. Apparently what happened is that in the bag, the silk tried to pull apart and um, de-skein itself. What do you call it? Strip itself? You know how you pull one false color out? But instead of pulling from the end, it pulled like in the middle of the bunch and like from two different ends. I don't even know. It was so wrapped and tangled. And I said words that I haven't said in a very long time. This floss almost, almost made me a very bad person. But I'm over it because I've realized that I've kind of cut the larger pieces of floss out. And I think and hope. And hope and hope that I'm able to get the rest of the little sections out because only those four sections require the really, really, really long pieces of floss. The others require like two or three color transitions. And I feel pretty confident that despite the color transition I already have put to the side ready to go, that I'm I can get the few. Mommy. Okay, I'll get you something to drink with some chocolate milk. Yes. Okay. Um,. I can get the little sections of color out that I need to get. So, I'm hoping that'll work. We'll see. Um, I almost, almost threw it to the side and just gave up on it. But I decided to try to persevere. And we'll see what happens. So, I'm not doing very well on keeping up with a daily vlog. But, today is February the 4th. I did get to go stitch with Organic Granny. However, we weren't, we were stitching away and didn't think about recording the video. And then by the time that we did think about recording the video, there were some other people in the room and we didn't want to seem weird talking to a camera. But we had lots of fun. We're definitely going to do this again. We stitched, um, I think we got to the room about 2 o'clock and stitched to like 7. And um, her friend Gay, or our friend Gay, <laughs> came with us and I did not buy anything. I did, well, I take that back. I bought a pack of Skittles and then I did help Gay kit up a project. So I got to live vicariously through her, but I did finish this after I got home. And then I, once I was finished with this one, my Mickey Mouse Fantasia started calling out to me. So I'm working on that now. Um, you can't really see the color great in here. It's just this peach color. I'm going to try to finish it out. I, I, on projects like this, I do one color at a time until I get it finished. And pretty much down to about this level is mostly this peach color. So I got a lot of stitching to do of this peach color. So I'm just stitching along while I watch Floss Tube and like I said, my Vampire Diaries. But that's really everything for now. Again, today's February the 4th. And I'm going to try to be better about keeping up with you guys and doing this vlog better. Um, thanks for watching. Today is February the 9th. We've had another Georgia snowstorm. This is our resulting snowman. That is not yellow snow. That is muddy snow. From Georgia red mud. <laughs> They are trying to have a snowball bash. <laughs> um, it does a typical Georgia snow. It laid really pretty for about an inch, maybe more like half an inch. And then it starts to melt. And the fun part is it's probably going to be 28 degrees tonight Fahrenheit, which means all this melted snow will freeze over and we'll have a lot of icy wet roads. That's why the South doesn't do well with snow. But, happy Georgia snow again. Snowman's a little bigger this time. You having fun, bubs? Yeah. Do you like the snow? Yeah. Why do you like the snow? Because it's so yellow because it has mud on it. <laughs> because it's yellow because it has mud on it. Yes, yeah. don't eat yellow snow. Right.
Throw it. Throw it. <laughs> Throw it, Connor. Not at me, at Daddy. <laughs> I'm not throwing him at you. snowman alone. Don't throw the snowman. I'm the first snowman to know the snowman. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Don't knock him over.